classified by the United States Army photograph. 1968 Noah's Ark appears in the so-called Valley of Eight near the tops of the mountains of Arara in Turkey. In 1968, an American archaeological expedition in an official capacity, moved to Turkey to closely examine the find. Their findings were that one object was not any boat, because, according to them, had not found any other wood anywhere. As always, governments always deny and conceal the conflicting findings. In 1977, the biblical archaeologist Ron Wyatt examined the area of Arara and said ground traces corresponded perfectly with the descriptions that the book of Genesis details about the ship that Noah built. Wyatt also collected soil samples that sent analyze their usual the United States laboratories. Scientists who tested laboratory reports were consistent with footprints would have left the true Ark of Noah. But, of course, the official archaeology disavowed and discredited the conclusions of Ron Wyatt. The curious thing about this whole story is that the December the 26th, 2010 was released on the website of Julian Asage, Wikileaks, a document showing a cable 1968, in which it was revealed that the governments of the United States and Turkey had hidden the discovery of Noah's Ark on Arara. Turkey also collaborated with the United States for the recovery of all materials of the Ark, which were taken to the United States Territory, where they were hidden. 1968 Wikileaks document, revealing the conspiracy of the government of the United States and Turkey to hide Noah's Ark. To enlarge press the image and open link in new tab. In the world of leaks, a source filter, whether it is true or whether it is fraudulent, you must provide certain truthful reports, precisely so that no one suspected their true activity. So Wikileaks, whatever their intention, whether they collaborated with the government and if not, had to necessarily true filter reports. Another thing is the last and authentic purpose that may pursue. I take many years reading the information concerning the discoveries of Ron Wyatt. Some seem spectacular, others seem to me somewhat special, so difficult to believe they are, at least for me. They can annotate Ron Wyatt, now deceased discoveries such as the passage through the Red Sea, Mount Sia, the Rock of Horb, Awesome, Noah's Ark, etc. His most controversial discovery, in my view, is where the Ark of the Covenant, which again lost, and the discovery of blood samples Jesus is. In this case, although it could be possible, I do not deny, I believe that, despite the honesty and good intentions, Sometimes the desire leads us to misinterpret some things, but I do not say that is not possible. In any case, I do not think Ron Wyatt lied.